Well, two men have been charged with more than 40 purse snatchings and robberies in Santa Clara County and throughout the Bay Area. Authorities say they were targeting Asian and Pacific Islander women looking for cash. KTVU's Ann Rubin is live outside the courthouse where, they're made the, where those men made their first court appearance today. Ann, tell us about it. Yeah, the judge today said the entire case is troubling. And while authorities have logged 40 incidents so far, more are under investigation, which could bring the total number of incidents up over 100. Authorities believe two men, Anthony Robinson and Derje Blanks, have been striking fear into the Asian community for nearly a year. Now they're charged with more than 40 purse snatchings and robberies from San Jose to Hayward to Dublin. It was communicated that they believed that Asian Americans don't believe in banks and would therefore have more cash on hand when they committed their robberies. Prosecutors say they looked for victims near ATMs, casinos and Asian markets, specifically their parking lots, often grabbing purses from car seats, but sometimes Times knocking over victims to get them. And the cash takes on some of these were tremendous. One victim had $30,000 that was stolen from her and nothing seemed to stop these individuals. Robinson and Blanks were apprehended a week ago in the parking lot of Top Golf in San Jose. Authorities say they rammed an unmarked police car before attempting to flee the scene. Anthony Robinson got into the driver's seat, drove over radically through the parking lot, ran a red light, and hit a passenger vehicle which severely injured an innocent two-year-old child. The two men made their first court appearance today, where in addition to the purse snatchings and robberies, they will face a hate crime enhancement. Jeff Rosen and our district attorney's office will not tolerate such violent and targeted destruction. Authorities believe Robinson was the ringleader and he's being held without bail. Blank's bail is set at $500,000, at least until a bail hearing that's scheduled for next week. Authorities say that he had a scholarship to play, play football at Western New Mexico University, a situation that may now be in jeopardy. Andre? Interesting development there. Andrew Rubin reporting for us live in Santa Clara County. And thank you.